Are you interested in the Black Dahlia case? If so, you need to hear this. This is the mysterious disappearance of Jean Spangler. 26-year-old Jean Spangler was an aspiring actress in the golden age of Hollywood. She had dreams of making it big. She had a five-year-old daughter with her ex-husband, and after an abusive relationship, the two divorced and were in the middle of a bitter custody battle. On the evening of October 7th, 1949, Spangler left her Park La Brea, Los Angeles apartment. She was going to leave her daughter with her sister-in-law, Sophie, while Spangler's mom, Florence, who also lived with them, was away on a trip. She told Sophie that she was going to meet her ex-husband to pick up a late child support payment, and then she would be heading on to work for the evening as an extra on a film set. The next day, when Jean didn't return home, Sophie reported her missing. On Sunday morning, a worker at Griffith Park in Los Angeles discovered a handbag police identified as Spangler's in the Ferndale area of the park. The handle was damaged, and in her purse, they found a note written by Spangler. It read, Kirk, can't wait any longer. Going to see Dr. Scott. It will work best this way while mother is away. Jean's ex-husband was questioned, and he had an alibi that evening. And the only Kirk they could find any connection to was actor Kirk Douglas. Jean had recently worked on the film Young Man with a Horn starring Douglas, but he told police he was in Palm Springs at the time of her disappearance. And bizarrely enough, the Screen Extras Guild told investigators that Spangler wasn't even booked to work that evening. The TV studios had no record of her employment that night. A saleswoman at the farmer's market a few blocks from Spangler's home recalled seeing her that evening and noted that she appeared to be waiting for somebody. Only adding to the mystery, one of Jean's friends told police that Spangler admitted she was having an affair with somebody and she was really excited about it. Oh, and one more thing, she was reportedly pregnant. Police never located the Dr. Scott from the note, but there was a doctor in Los Angeles that was known to perform procedures for women who became pregnant. These procedures were illegal at the time and he performed them under the radar. Who was this doctor you might ask? George Hodel, the prime suspect in the Black Dahlia case. What? So Jean is missing and in her purse, police found a note that mentioned a Dr. Scott. A close friend of Jean's said the aspiring actress was reportedly having an affair and pregnant at the time of her disappearance. Police couldn't find the Dr. Scott from the note, but there was a notorious doctor who performed procedures for women under the radar. Dr. George Hodel, the prime suspect in the Black Dahlia case. The night of Jean's disappearance, multiple witnesses reported seeing Spangler at a Sunset Strip restaurant at 2.30 a.m. Jean was seen arguing with a man that matched George Hodel's description and was later seen at a gas station that night in a car that matched George Hodel's vehicle. The DA eventually looked into Hodel for his connection with various disappearances of these young starlets and were close to arresting him, but he fled the country and passed in 1999. Jean Spangler has been missing for 72 years and her whereabouts remain unknown. Jean's ex-husband maintained that he had nothing to do with her disappearance. He later took their daughter and moved away. They were never heard from again. Kirk Douglas's involvement in the case was questioned for a while, but there was never any evidence of an affair between them other than that fateful note. So what happened that night? I have so many questions about this case. The note? Was she pregnant and who was she having an affair with? And why did she lie saying that she had to go to work when there was no evidence that she ever did?